By now, I'm sure most of you have played a Borderlands game or at least have heard of a franchise, right? Well, since the original Borderlands game released in 2009, it's safe to say that many consoles have been graced with its presence so far. The latest installment of this open world looter shooter franchise has found its way to Nintendo's latest console, the Nintendo Switch, in the form of a legendary collection. This collection packs in 3 out of the 5 games in the series which are Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition, and Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. All 3 games include all of the DLC for each title and will give you roughly 2-300 to 300 hours worth of gameplay if you give it the chance. Now you can play this game solo or with up to 3 of your friends with online play. Each title has numerous characters that each have their own unique ability sets, and they are completely customizable to fit your preferred playstyle. While these games are fundamentally the same as far as the gameplay goes, that's not to say you won't enjoy all three installments in this incredible franchise. The original Borderlands sets up the overall story arc for the franchise while introducing the new players to a rather toned down experience when it's compared to its predecessors. Which brings us to Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 turns everything that was in the original Borderlands up to 11 on the badass chart. Now, that means better missions, better guns, better comedy, it, it means you're going to enjoy yourself a lot more while playing Borderlands 2. And then after completing those two games, you still have the pre-sequel. This game is set in between the first and the second Borderland games, and there's, they're a little bit different. It was a nice change of pace that it really, really felt like a lot of the same things from the previous games, but it's what makes the franchise so great and it was nice to see it in this game as well, compared to the other two titles. The pre-sequel was also developed by 2K Australia, while the main developers over at 2K began working on Borderlands 3 at the time. A very important note is that these games run extremely well on the Nintendo Switch console in case that was your main deciding factor whether or not to purchase the Legendary Collection or not. Each game is locked at 30 frames a second which means it runs like butter especially in handheld mode. If you've never played any of the Borderlands games before or have been wanting to revisit these classics then look no further than this Legendary Collection. It retails for $50 but I've recently seen it for being sold for as little as $20. Links are down in the description below though, so be sure to check out the current price of the games in those links. This has been Borderlands The Legendary Collection, and it receives a 9 out of 10. As always, I'm Switch Light Gaming. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.